I found my digital scales. So I'll see how much it takes to stretch the band a certain distance. At the moment I've marked it out 12 inches. So this is in series. 12 inches, well that's 300, 305 grams that's measuring at the moment. Now I'll put them in parallel. Zero it again. It's taking a lot more effort to pull it. That says I actually went more than that, but that says 2,100 grams to go the same distance. So that's significantly more power being stored for the same amount of stretch. Now I'll just see uh, how far I can stretch it. I know. See how far I can stretch it to get the same 2,100 2, grams in series. Right, well we actually broke it when we got to, I think it was about there somewhere. actually broke at 1,700 grams and I guess the reason for that is we're just pulling on one strand so it hasn't got the strength that two strands doubled up were giving us for pulling. I'll just measure how far that went. That was three feet So we'd stretched it to three feet before it snapped and we were giving it 1,700 grams of stored energy. I don't know if this is helpful to anybody but I, it just came to me the other day as a result of some questions I'd had and I thought it was worth trying to do some sort of tests to give some sort of comparison. So, doubled up, we get more power per centimetre of stretch and because they're doubled up we've got more rubber there so it didn't snap so easily. When they were just in series like that, we might have been able to get up to the same amount of power but the single strand gave way when we got to 1,700. That may help somebody.